A Sunrise officer on the other side of the law this evening, bonding out of jail earlier today. Carl Haller is accused of viewing and possessing child pornography. NBC6 reporter Marissa Bag is live from Sunrise. You were there when he was bailing out. Did he say anything to you? Actually, Shelly, he did not say a word to us as our cameras were rolling. I can tell you, though, Officer Holler spent six years here as a police officer in Sunrise. This also happened to be where he turned himself in on Saturday. This is where he was arrested after an investigation, which included the FBI, alleged that he had child pornography. Covering up as much as he could with a hooded sweatshirt and a face mask, suspended Sunrise police officer Carl Haller walked out of jail Monday and hurried into a car waiting for him, all the while ignoring our questions. Haller is charged with possession and viewing child pornography on his personal electronic devices, as well as tampering with evidence. An internal affairs investigation of the 39-year-old began three weeks ago when Sunrise police say they and the FBI forensically examined several devices. Haller is on administrative leave without pay and had to turn over his police-issued firearms, his badge, and other identification. Police arrested Haller at the PD on Saturday, and he went before a judge Sunday. Law enforcement will be allowed to enter the residence in order to recover the firearm for safekeeping as well as the ammunition. Uh, his passport is to be surrendered prior to release, no use of internet, and then also uh, no contact with minor. Holler grew up in Sunrise and joined Sunrise Police in 2016. He was on the SWAT team. Now his own department is asking anyone with information about this case to call them directly and report it. And the Sunrise Police released a statement saying, in part, we understand this information is very concerning, but we assure the public that swift action has been taken. They added that Holler's actions do not reflect the character or the professionalism that's expected of the men and women of this department.